Hi there, this is Namni, and welcome to my channel Namni Technical. Coming to this video, I am going to answer some of the questions about real level exam which I am repeatedly getting on socials. So without any delay, let's start. Question number one. Which language I used in assess your algo round? I used Python. Second question. Can I use JavaScript in assess your algo round? Yes, of course you can use JavaScript. Not only JavaScript, you can use Java, Python, C, C++, like any recognized language because relevel supports ton of languages so you can use almost any recognized language no need to worry about language support at all question number 3 it is not like a question but uh, so many people are saying that their code is perfectly working fine on their local machine or local editor but when they copy paste the same code on the relevel platform they are getting zero percentage or their solution is not getting accepted so this is the case okay so i think the mistake you are doing over here is you are not taking care of input and output format that is you the code you have written is not taking the input and giving the output as specified in the question okay even though the logic is correct if you are not uh, like formatting the input and output correctly your solution will not get accepted so make sure that you the code you have written is taking the inputs and giving the outputs as specified in the question okay question number 4 can i use bootstrap tailwind css or any other css frameworks or libraries yes of course you can use them question number 5 will i directly get the job after clearing the relevel exam that is after qualifying the relevel exam so i think no because after clearing the relevel exam the companies will again take their own interview rounds or hr rounds okay so again it depends on the company like some companies may take 2 to 3 rounds of technical interviews and then hr interview like that and some companies may directly take hr interview so it may depend on company so the short answer is no for me uh, one company took uh, three rounds of interviews that is uh, two of them were technical and the third one is a hr uh, like where we discussed about the product some more deeply like what is the product actually and why the product and some other normal questions like location etc etc and uh, the other company gave me a project that is a full stack project which i have to complete within 48 hours and submit to the mail provider and uh, followed by an interview and uh, that is which is based on the same project uh, which is given to me and uh, some other normal questions like puzzles or uh, like that sort of questions yeah that's it question number 6 what will be asked in interviews whether it is dsa or development okay again it also depends on the company some companies ask only dsa some companies ask only development some companies will ask both of them so you should prepare for both of them before attending the interviews okay question number 7 I have less percentage or I have less CGPA or I, I am not from the computer science or I have backlogs so okay so all sort of things so will it affect see just one thing give the exam score good marks perform well in the interviews you'll directly get the job because these will not matter because see that is what relevel is trying to solve right irrespective of your branch or irrespective of your college cgpa etc if you just have the skills to do the job you will you should get the job okay so that is what relevel is trying to solve and i think this will not matter question number 8 what will be the location that is will it be work from home or will it be work from office if it is work from office can i choose the location okay so i think again this also depends on the companies you are attending the interviews for that will be decided by them only and the location also will be given by them only so as far as i know it depends on the company and they will give the location Question number nine: Should I join the relevel courses? So again, that depends on you because I don't have any personal experience with the relevel courses. So, but if you have time and if you can afford it, go for it. Question number ten: Have you done any courses from the relevel? No. Question number eleven: Do we need to pay any money to relevel after getting a job? That is, after getting placed. The short answer is no. There is nothing like that. You need not to pay any money to relevel. is relevel real did you really got the job uh, yes actually i gave the exam in my final year okay so i got a ppo offer that is i join i'll join the company as an intern so and uh, as soon as i completed my internship i'll join as a full time employee in the same company and that is what happened uh, so i recently completed my internship and joined as a full time as well in the same company so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope i answered all the questions and if you have any other questions i didn't answer so do comment in the comment section below and uh, that's it for this video thank you for watching do subscribe for further updates let's see in the next video